Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'd like you all to stand with me, please. And uh, just before I share the word for a few minutes, I would like you just to turn to someone next to you. Say, I'm glad I'm family. And then turn to someone else and say, I'm glad I'm family. And then you may be seated again. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to just share a scripture with you from Luke chapter 24, verse 15. And the scripture is, I'm reading from the New Living Translation, and it reads like this. There were two men walking, and uh, they were going from Jerusalem to Emmaus. And as they talked and discussed these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them. The Bible says that they were prevented from seeing that it was Jesus or recognizing that it was Jesus. And they had this whole conversation, and Jesus shared the word of covenant with them. And uh, <clears throat> they ended up breaking bread together, having communion together. And when they came out of the communion moment, Jesus was gone. Verse 31, suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And at that moment he disappeared. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us? as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us. And within the hour, they were on their way back to Jerusalem. There they found the 11 disciples and the others who had gathered with them. Many years ago, the Lord uh, shared a, a message with me that every time he's going to do something on the earth, he's going to call a messenger. He's always going to call a human messenger. Sometimes, very occasionally, he will send an angel or a, a, a supernatural being. Mostly that happens because there is some divine moment that God wants to share with, with us. But for the most part, he sends a messenger. And when he sends a messenger, he will always give the messenger a message. That message becomes something valuable to us because it's always for our deliverance yes. and for our abundance, yes. always. And so I'm grateful that God sent Brother Jerry as a messenger to the world. Yes. He didn't just send him just with words. He sent him with a message. Yes. And he will tell you and has told us many times, that he would be known, and God told him early on, very early on, that this message, this thing that would be on his life called favor, would be known around the world. And of course, we know that songs have been written about him as Mr. Favor. Amen. Right? And uh, <clears throat> I thank God that he was willing to go with a message. Because certainly, I think for all of us here, the message brought deliverance. Yes. Yeah. And it has brought abundance. Yes. And I thank God for that. Yeah. Something else the Lord showed me some time ago and uh, some years ago now, and I was reminded about it this morning, that uh, not any one of us has uh, a place on the earth because it just is... By mistake. You are here today because God wanted you to be here. You're in this body because God wanted you to be in the body that you occupy. So if he brought you into the earth, then he considered you to be a messenger. He didn't just send you to the earth to live and die. He sent you to the earth to be a messenger. And so you might say, well, I, my message, uh, you know, as a messenger and the message that I have uh, is not as 
grand as Brother Jerry's message and I'm not as grand a messenger as Brother Jerry. I haven't been able to go the places and do the things that he has done. Well, I've got news for you. If you're here and you've partnered with him, you have. And if your part was to be a messenger that came to be part of what Brother Jerry was doing, everywhere he's gone, your message has gone with him. Hallelujah. 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 You know, that puts us in a unique place. And we have, all of us, every single one of you, have an ancient path that you have supposed to walk. If you feel you've gotten to a place in your life and maybe you haven't yet found out what your ancient path is, and ancient is a path that is before ages. And so I'm not going to speak very long. Uh, only about an hour. <laughs> but, you know, ancient means it's ages ago and it's something that happened probably before you were born. And I mean this on purpose when I say this. Before you were born, God had a path for you to walk. And so when you are born into the earth, yours, you start a journey of discovery. And your journey of discovery is to discover where you can hear God's voice so you can find your path that he predestined for you to walk in before you were born. And so if you're here and you're part of Jerry Savelle Ministries and you've been a, become a partner of Jerry Savelle Ministries or you're in heritage of faith, your ancient path wasn't because, uh, well, I just thought maybe I'd partner with uh, Brother Jerry. No, God had an ancient plan that he would send a messenger with a message and he needed you to be part of the message. So he said, come, let the two messengers join together so the message can go to the world. And your ancient path ain't done yet. His has gone for the moment to be in eternity and we are left to walk still part of our path that we must walk. But we are still together as messengers that have a message to carry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I've got some things I have to share. And thank you for being sensitive to the Holy Spirit, Justin, and asking me to share this. I, I would never have done that for myself. But because he phoned me and asked me, I consider this a great honor for me to do this. Can you imagine how valuable and precious Jerry Ann and Terry and Miss Carolyn were to Brother Jerry. Can you imagine how precious they were? He constantly left them to go and preach a message because he was a messenger. Why would he leave something so valuable behind to go and share a message somewhere else. How much value must that be for him to leave the value at home to go and be and do something somewhere else? What is that thing that is so valuable that Brother Jerry would leave the wife of his youth and, and the wife of his and the love of his life and his daughters? What was that thing that was so valuable that he would leave them to go somewhere else? Can I tell you? It's you. It's you. It's the Lord Jesus Christ Church. It's you. He left the value that was so precious to his heart. He left them for you. For those that are watching on on, on YouTube or television, he left them for you. Because Jesus said, I've got something that's so valuable to me that I died for them. I gave my life for them. I came from eternity for them. They are valuable. They are prized to me. They are a possession to me. I have given my whole life for them. Jerry Savell, will you go and make the church what I need them to be? And Brother Jerry said, I'm here, Lord, send me, send me. And so he, fly, fly, fly. He had to go with his airplane many places because normal transportation couldn't take him where he needed to go. 
You know, he came for you and for me. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, Brother Jerry, he's stopped walking on the earth. His ancient path was predestined for him before time. And uh, thank God for Miss Carolyn. Thank God. That when she married him, she said, I know you're going to go and preach the gospel to the nations. And, uh, you know, when Brother Jerry found his ancient path that he was supposed to walk in, he has, from that moment till the moment he went home, he didn't stop for one second. He just kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing, and he said, I've got one more message to preach. I've got to be a messenger to one more group of people. There are still a people that have to be heard, that have to hear what I've got to say because I'm a messenger. God has sent me with a message. I've got to go and preach this gospel. I've got to get the good news out. I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go. Hallelujah. What is this thing that is so amazing? Well, The love of God is what drove him. He loved his father. He loved Jesus. He loved the Holy Spirit. And he loved the word of God. And the love of God is what drove him. How else could you leave so, such valuable relationships behind and go and preach somewhere else? You can only do that if you love the father, if you love God. That's the only reason you can go. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. The Apostle Paul wrote it this way. And he said, though I am the least, Ephesians 3 verse 8, though I am the least deserving of all God's people, he graciously gave me the privilege of telling the Gentiles about the endless treasure available to them in Christ. I was chosen to explain to everyone this mysterious plan that God, the creator of all things, had kept secret from the beginning. God's purpose in all this was to use the church to display his wisdom in its rich variety to all the unseen rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was his eternal plan, which he carried out through Christ Jesus, our Lord. And because of this, we can be bold. We can be bold. And so, then he writes in verse 20, Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and forever. And so, I'm going to just... Recap for you. In 2010, Brother Jerry had a prophetic word for the church, above and beyond, over the top. 2011 was the year of the supernatural. 2012 was the year of fulfillment. 2013, the year of unprecedented favor. 2014 will be known as the year of the greater. 2015 will, be, 15 will be known as the year of visitations, manifestations, and demonstrations. 2016 was the year of the great breaking loose. 2017, the faithful shall flourish and it shall be like days of heaven on earth. 2018, days of glory, days of flourishing, days of abounding. 2019, marvels, wonders, and extraordinary manifestations of the greatness of our God. The year of 2020 was the year of supernatural increase. 2021 was the year of abundant overflow. 2022 was the year of the open hand of God, unusual, extraordinary, and supernatural provision. 2023 was the year of the maximum, the highest level attainable. And 2024 is the year of progressing, advancing, promotion, and seeing your highest expectations fulfilled. Well, I don't know about you, but he's brought messages to us over the years, a faithful messenger that has brought the Word of God to us. Hallelujah. This is our time to keep walking in the Word of God. And not let any one of these words, I don't look at 2010 and say, well, that was a year, a word that God spoke in 2010. 
When he spoke it into the earth, it became alive. It became active. It became working. And he spoke it forever. Not one of those words will return to him void without producing what it needs to produce. It's still working. It's still working in my life and it's still working in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And I still go back and I look at these words and I tell you, these words are going to keep speaking speak, and speaking to me. So what about 2025? What about 2025? Well, the messenger that God sent to give us a message for every year that has been, has gone to be with the Lord. But God has not said, stopped sending messages. He's just going to use new messengers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's going to use new messengers. So, what is the legacy of Brother Jerry? I'm sure you're going to say, just like me, I am the legacy. I am the legacy. I want to tell you that it is my determined purpose. One day I was sitting in a room with him and he looked at me and he asked, told me three times, he pointed his finger at me and he said, John, promise me you will never stop preaching the word of faith. And that time I said, yes, Brother Jerry, you have my word. I will never stop preaching faith. So I'm telling you, Jerry, and I will preach, Jerry, I will preach faith for the rest of my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will preach faith for the rest of my life. I made him a promise. That day I made him a promise. I will always keep preaching faith and I'll always stand for faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to say one more thing. And that is, you know, when Brother Jerry started his ministry, I didn't know him then. And uh, Joe and Joyce, thank you for serving him for so many years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Well, I didn't know him when he was a young man, but he went on to... I believe the beach's name was Pismo Beach in California. And he preached to young people and he got young people saved. I've got news for you. The faith message is not for a bunch of people that grew up with Brother Jerry and grew up with Brother Copeland. And the faith message is not dying with the generals that have gone before us. They started their preaching to young people. Yes, sir. And we need to be in a place where we say, Lord, we are messengers and we will carry a message. Now, I want to just say this, that you might feel like I don't have the energy to carry it to a new generation. But I want to tell you, there's a new generation of young people out there. They are desperate for this message. They are desperate for how to be successful in life, how to be winners in life, how to know what God's will is for your life. They are desperate for it. They don't even know how to have relationships anymore. How are they going to have a relationship with God? Well, they're not going to have any relationships until they get a relationship with God. We have got to be ready to take up what needs to get done. And if it means partnering with Jerry Savelle Ministries, if it means being part of Heritage of Faith Church and those people that will go and do it, then there's your answer. You know, what's happening to the young generation is that they are so insecure and unsure of what the future holds. Older generations have a lot more uh, stability and steadiness and they also have resources. 
You want to leave this earth with your resources sitting in a bank account? Or do you want to leave this earth with all your resources working for the gospel and getting young people saved? What are you going to do with more and more resources that fills up your bank accounts? And then you go to be with Jesus. What are you going to do with all those resources? They're all going to stay here. Why don't you take your resources and say, we're going to partner with Jerry Sabal Ministries. We're going to partner with Heritage of Faith Churches. And we're going to go and touch the world. We're going to change young people's lives. We're going to go to a generation after a generation after a generation after a generation after a generation. We're going to go after the generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So yes, thank you, Pastor Justin, because there's a fire in my bones. And it's the fire of, of the, God, uh, the God that brought me to a prophet of God that I walked with, a man that, that I identified so completely with in the way that he loved God and the way that he walked with God. I thank God he brought me to him. I, I would be amiss if I didn't honor the person who brought me to Brother Jerry Savell. And his name is Pastor Ray McCauley. And Pastor Ray McCauley blessed me into my relationship with Jerry Savell. I didn't leave Ray McCauley to go and join another ministry. I left Pastor Ray McCauley with his blessing and he's still a man of integrity and influence in my life. And Brother Jerry and Brother Pastor Ray were very, very close friends for many, many years. And I would be amiss if I didn't honor him in this message today. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to Jesus. Because I want to tell you, when they started their journey, they had a whole lot of people in mind. And you were on his mind. And he called them and he's raised them up. And Brother Copeland's still living and he's going to keep preaching as long as God's going to have him on this earth. He's going to keep preaching. But we are a new generation of messengers. And we've got a message that we've got to preach to the generations. And it's the same message, maybe just a different way. Maybe just a little different way. Maybe it's just a different tool. But we've got to preach the same message. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The world is waiting for us. The world is waiting for us. Pastor Justin, the world is waiting for us. He's waiting for us to go and touch them. And we are the next revival generation. We are the next revival generation. Jerry Ann, we are the next revival generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Come on, church, you've got to give Jesus a praise. You've got to give Jesus a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, raise your hands. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to God. Just praise the Lord right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I do this regularly in my church. And so if you're okay with it, I'm going to do it right now. I'd like you to take your right hand and put it on your heart. And I'd like you to make a declaration with me and say, Jesus, Jesus I, commit today I commit today to be a messenger. To be a messenger. Use, me, Use me, Lord. Use my life. Use my, life. Use, my Use my resources. Use my world, Use my world. To, be to be a messenger. I will carry the message, carry the message. of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the, to the next generation, in Jesus' name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. 